guys welcome back to the channel so i've been some thinking and some pondering some stuff that uh maybe could help spruce up the channel a little bit bring you guys some new type of uh content stuff we've been wanting to do for about seven or eight months now never really got the opportunity till now and motivation to do such things so today we are going to be doing some quality testing so as you see before me welcome to the channel today we are going to be doing some durability testing now i must advise you that uh you know this is not performed or under the supervision of professionals um Yeehaw, Mimo. All right. Now we're under the supervision of professionals. Hi. Me again. So, we're, do we're going to do some durability testing. Now, again, ready? So, today, oh, fuck it. I forgot what I said. So, we're going to do some durability testing. But thus far, we have already done a durability testing that we did not intend to do. First off, I would like to say GoPros are pieces of shit. I have never had more issues out of a camera than I had out of GoPros in my entire life. Reason being is, is we played this whole skit out, did some quality testing here, and camera wigged out and didn't save any of it. So... I can't do it again because I've already destroyed my fiberglass bumper. But fiberglass, anybody that's in the race car world, car world, anybody knows fiberglass. Fiberglass is brittle, but fiberglass is a cheap way. Well, this is our third attempt at trying to make this. We are not movie stars. Oh. As you can see, henceforth, fiberglass. Can we? Ready? So, this is our third attempt at this video. So, we're doing some quality testing and learning some things. We're trying out uh, uh, another camera because GoPros are pieces of shit. So, we have done the skit twice, so three times. So, I was going to show you the difference between fiberglass and polycarbonate. Unfortunately, this is all I got left. Fix it? Yes. Do we want to fix it? No. Do we get tired of fixing it? Absolutely. Now, I'll bring you. So, fiberglass is good, but fiberglass sucks because it's brittle it breaks you see this over here so then we have the polycarbonate now polycarbonate straight from the poly god now most of you guys that have followed me uh, my 2018 washed up pro am build I had KBD products on my car. I still do. But this right here, this is the bumper that I have. If you don't know about poly, this is extremely durable. The internet has ran wild on polycarbonate from said poly gods. Uh, it's supposed to be undestructible. Now, I have tested this theory on my race car. I have ran this into shit, ran it over, smashed into things, uh, damaged the body. I've destroyed fiberglass, but our bumpers and side skirts still remain. Reason being is, is it's extremely flexible. It's cold right now. It's probably in the low 30s in Tennessee, so it's not going to melt like butter because it's kind of hard. But it isn't going to break. You know, I could do something really cool and really stupid and jump up and down on this, but it's starting to rain. So we're trying to like, you know, we want to send this fucker to the moon. So 
what was his name? Jeff Benzo? Bezo? Benzo? Bezo. Bezo. Yeah. So, hey, look, dog. You've been to outer space, but you haven't put your products on the moon. What was that Dogecoin thing? Dogecoin? Dogecoin. Do Dogecoin? Yeah. Dogecoin? Is that what the fuck it is? All right. So, yeah. KBD. To the moon! Um, we are going to talk with our unprofessionals. Hold on. Be right back. All right, uh, you hollered me, Mom. So, uh, the KBD warranty, uh, if you destroy it, if you're the original owner and you destroy it, you can see the fine print uh, as their warranties and products and stuff on their website. I'll drop a link down in the description. This is not a paid promotion. I paid for these, so uh, just like everything else I have, I'm just going to go ahead and try to destroy it. So, um, yeah, let's do that again. All right, so uh, real quick, we're going to have a quick conversation with our uh, unprofessionals. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the KBD warranty. So the KBD warranty, um, if you destroy it, they'll replace it within reason. The rules are on their website. I'll drop a link below in the description. This is not a paid promotion. I paid for this bumper. I'm just trying to have fun and fuck some shit up and see what happens. So, uh, hopefully you guys find this as great comedy. Uh, if they replace it, I'm going to send this to the owner because I already talked to him about it. I'm going to send this to the owner. Um, I hope you enjoy this. We are, we got two different selections of our fully legal. This is not illegal. Nothing illegal happening here. I promise. So, rimfire. Uh, Tannerite, exploding target, whatever people want to call it. We got this one right here. Rim fire, you can shoot it with a 22, anything, uh, bare minimum, 1,000 foot per second. And then we got the regular Tannerite, the big Johnny Boom. So you can mix this. This makes big boom. There's plenty of videos on the internet, especially this one here today. Um, 2,000 foot per second. So we've got a selection of tools, firearms, toys, whatever you want to call them, that we are going to use to set these Johnny Boys off. So, uh, disclaimer, if there is wind noise in the video, I apologize. We have a massive blizzard of 2022 rolling in. So, we're going to try to beat the storm, and we're going to the moon. First off, Rimfire Generite. Um, recently learned about this myself. This is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but anyways, rim fire, thousand foot per second. Uh, shoot it off with 22, anything like that. You can trigger it with 22. So it comes in in the box that it comes in. It comes in with a couple, uh, two different packets. You mix it into one big bag, and then they have individual baggies, which these turn into your own targets that you mix individually targeted together. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so went ahead, prepared one. I'm gonna show you an example of just one. I put some duct tape around it, kind of seals it up pretty good. And then a Tannerite sticker, so you know where it's at. And then we're going to do one. These are these are half pound a piece. Uh, so we're just going to do one and one. So you can see what they do on their own. Uh, Put duct tape around it it kind of adds the pressure because this is a uh, pressure based uh, it's not and technically it's a not an explosive i don't know it's not illegal there's a way that they make it not illegal they sell a shit in the store so i'm cool with that so we're going to set it up i've got two gopros down there to try and help capture the action so far we've had problems out gopros but hopefully just maybe one of these two pieces of shit we'll catch what's going on down there because i'm not walking all the way down there back and forth all the time so nor am i holding a camera we're making anybody hold the camera while we're down there anyways so let's go get this set up and then we're gonna shoot them off first off uh ruger precision 22 long rifle so we're about 50 yards maybe a little bit more from the target safe distance for what we got so i'm gonna go ahead I'm going to go hot. Fire and hole.
kicked it. Now that was just one pack. <laughs> Gonna shoot at the other one, the uh, regular Tannerite, uh, five five six, radical firearm, sixteen inch. Uh, we're gonna give her a shot, see how good we are. I ain't tried anything out of this barrel, so I don't know. Uh, usually, first shot without the warm, it's not not always on point. So we're gonna try it out, see if we can hit it 50 yards roughly, same distance. So let's go. Fire in the hole. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Takes a little more than one shot. All right, so now you've seen what one and one can do on their own. Hopefully the GoPros captured that up close because that was pretty fucking cool. Anyways, so we're going to shoot one of these attached to that bumper. If and when it survives, then we're going to strap one of these to that bumper. So, you ready? Here we go. Test one. 22 rim fire, one pack. Let's do it. Man, it's a really bright flash. I can't see shit. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's check this out. So one pack of a 22 rim fire. Looks like our AZ rag, uh, Avery wrap didn't hold up. It melted it pretty good, but shit. The round didn't even make it through the bumper. Hell, it didn't even scratch it. I think it just got through the paint. Cause you had to paint the bumper in order to wrap it, I don't know. I guess only some people can do that, but, uh, shit, yeah. Let's try one of these and see what happens. So we, uh, we, uh, fabricated ourselves a mount to hold this one on right here. This is high quality right here. Um, this is only for special orders. For your, uh, Tannerite holders to bumpers, such things. So we're going to, new area, we're going to shoot through this and see what it does right there. And then. We'll come back and revisit it. Five, five, six. One container, regular Tannerite. Let's see what happens. Also, notable mention, KVD bumpers are bulletproof against 22 long rifle.
I told you it was the damn barrel. Man, check this out. I can see this from all the way up there. Now, Panerite's not flammable, it's just pressure based. The rim fire, not so much, I don't know. About but, somebody's returning to fire and big boom. Check this out. So, one of these, it broke. It cracked it here and here. Now this may be considering that it's like, I don't know, up to 40 degrees now or whatever, but it's not very hot. So it might have actually busted and cracked it due to it being cold. Uh, of course, wrap didn't survive um, in style fashion. So, let's, uh, let's load something else. Let's get a little bigger and see what happens because it's still usable. Not to be biased, we do have a small piece of fiberglass left and we're gonna try it out. We have one packet of the 22 long rifle floating target. I'm gonna go set it up, we're gonna shoot it. Hopefully GoPros capture it and yeah. Will it explode, will it not? I don't know. This is the part where I say something cheesy like leave your, uh, your thoughts and comments down below and uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up like. We're gonna go shoot this. Yeah. Let's set this up right here against the bumper. Of course, it's not going to affect the bumper because the bumper is officially bulletproof against 22. So we got some stability. We're going to see if this fiberglass goes poof or not. All right, fiberglass time. Let's see what happens. Hit it straight on, nothing happened. Let's try again. <laughs> Hit it twice, nothing happened. One more shot, and then we'll look at it. I think we got a dud. Let's get another one and some duct tape. Double or nothing. Well, as you can see, this guy right here. We made it clean through it. Fiberglass is not bulletproof. It went all the way through, but like, I don't know, it didn't go boom. So I got one more right here. It's a little bit tighter wrapped, more duct tape. We'll stick it to this one and see what happens. Ta-da! She's ready to go. Double or nothing. Let's do it. Test number two. We got a uh, second packet seen in the video uh, clip earlier so we're gonna shoot packet number two and see what happens hope it's a yeehaw mimo right above it Well, that one sucked. That one wasn't very cool. see what it, what the uh, last the second uh, attempt at our rimfire target here uh, bullets went through fiberglass not bulletproof uh, it didn't really do anything to the fiberglass I don't know if it just didn't have a right mixture or whatnot but we got one of these Johnny's taped on there so we're gonna see what happens now I'm gonna shoot at this one with uh, 556 so let's see what happens with this. I'm hoping fiberglass scatters everywhere. If not, the fiberglass might be durable too. Go.
So as we're walking her up, you can see there's no fiberglass. That one's pretty cool. That one's a pretty good boom. I don't know. See it, one boom on fiberglass. It was directly against it, not in between it. It broke a hole through it. So, yeah. Let's step it up a notch. Just a little uh, you know, 411. See this? Anybody knows about Pineapple Willies? Pineapple, Pineapple Willies was a dope, dope ass restaurant. Uh, Pineapple Willies is gone as far as I know because there was a hurricane. It said, shoop! Uh, Panama City Beach. These cups are cool. They hold approximately what? Two pounds? Two pounds. So we got two pounds of the big boom boom. And uh, like I said, we'll step it up a notch. So we're going to see how this goes. And if anything's left, we might go bigger. I don't know. But yeah, let's go strap this up. Make her go boom. So as you see here, we are going to pay great tribute to Pineapple Willies. Pineapple Willies. This one's for you and your awesome frozen margaritas on the go. All right, I said we were going to do bigger and better. What's this? Give me some details. Savage 110 300 wind mag with MDT Elite Sniper System chassis. Three hundred wind mag. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this one's for you, Pineapple Willie. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole. <laughs> R.I.P. Pineapple Willie. Take a trip down through here. See what's left of our rocket ship. Did it make it to the moon? This ain't even a big one yet. If there's anything left. Like part of it, oh boy. There's some left. A pretty good size. Well, not quite a quarter. <laughs> Man, just scuffed up the grass. Yeah. Holy there shit, there's some laying over there. Oh. That was our stabilizing brace. Yeah. No, no more. Jeez. Hmm. Where's the rest of it? Some went that way. Bro, ripping for that KCE dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, right here we have our game special. This is eight, eight and a half pounds. Eight, eight pounds. pounds. Eight pounds. So, we're going to scatter this bad boy to the moon. We're using my uh, Ruger Precision 300 Wind Mag. You're gonna hear a boom, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom to the moon. So let's go get it set up before this rain sets in and get her done. Well, here we go. Last one of the day is KBD going to the moon. There she is. Let's send her on and see how we do. One shot is a practice shot at the 100 yard target. Uh, make sure we're still on target. Hand shot this rifle in a while. So. We'll see if we're still good to go. Ready, Freddy. All right, here we go. 
KBD to the moon. Bro, that's a fucking yee-haw me mouth if I've ever seen it. Woo! Bruh, we was just using the tire as a prop, but I don't think there's nothing left of it either. Well, come on, let's go down here and check it out. Holy shit. There's one right here too. He did say in his warranty information, send me the bumper back. So, for the next mile radius, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're gonna walk around collecting pieces. Hopefully, some made it to the moon. Ooh, I hope these GoPros caught that. Oh shit! I got shit on my GoPro. What? That's some of that twenty. It's still intact. Oh shit! That so it must double have, up. Yeah, so it must have triggered some part of the other one. So oh, I shot this image three times. We got another one to shoot, too. Oh, Here, put that in the pocket. Holy shit. Talk about some land clear. I oh, know. Oh. Look, that, look at there's the tire. Mojo damn grass for you. Jeez. Man, this is a lot better than bush hogging. The tire over here. So, tire started out there. Tire landed here. Damn. Whew. No tire swing for you. I want to do that shit to a hornet's nest. <laughs> hey, there's pieces over here. It's a dirt and debris. No, no. <laughs> Still KCE strong. Could have put that at the beginning. All right, well, here we are at the end of the video. Test results. We found shit in the trees. We found shit that way, that way, that way, that way. Hell, we even had shit fly back and hit us. So, so far, this is all we got left. Uh, I hope that's enough to send back. Uh, I don't know if my warranty covers that or not. I hope so. If it does, it's probably be a one time only thing. You know, they'll put it up on the website and be like, hey, we don't cover this shit no more. But it did last a lot longer and stayed in more pieces than fiberglass. So if you found yourself at the end of this video and you have watched the entire length of this train wreck and poor productions by unprofessionals, uh, subscribe, like, merch link below. Uh, check it out. This was an expensive video to make. This bumper costs quite a bit, and I think we probably almost $60 in Tanner. So, yeah. Also, I want to say, uh, if you've got other suggestions of things that we should try within reason, legal reason, uh, drop them down in the comments. If you want to see more shit like this, drop it down in the comments. Um, if this endangers this channel, I do have a... A second channel sister channel we'll move everything over to that this one's monetized I hardly make anything off of it but it's cool it's got a lot of people on it so anyways thank you for watching thank you for tuning in um till next time guys